Here's a quick video about how to use the table builder in Barn 2's WooCommerce product table plugin. If you need a complete guide, which includes installation instructions and other settings, then check out this video first. From the WordPress admin, you can launch the table builder at any time by going to products, product tables, and add new. So with the builder open, let's go through all of the steps now to create a new product table. We'll start by giving our table a name, and then we'll choose how we want to display it. You can either add it to any page using a block or shortcode, and I would choose this option if you want to manually add the product table to like a normal page or post or some other location which is not one of the main WooCommerce pages or you can display it on one of the preset WooCommerce pages. So for example, we can replace the main store layout grid with a table within WooCommerce. And in the next step, we'll choose which of those pages we want to add it to. If you chose to display the table on a shop page, then you'll see a list of the different pages that you can choose. In my case, I want it to be on the main shop page, but I'll very quickly show you how this option will change if you choose to add using a block or shortcode. Now here, this step has changed from location to content. We can either display all products or select a specific subset of products based on something like the category, tags, or some combination of these sort of things. But I'm gonna go back because I want this to replace my shop page and click next. Now we can select which columns that we want to appear in our table. There are some here by default, including the image, which will just show a little preview image of the item, the name, obviously that's very useful, a quick summary, depending on if the product has a summary written, then that will show up in that column. And then we have price and buy, but there are a bunch of other columns we can choose from. So you can go through this list on your own so we could also add like the category, for example. And if you want to rearrange them, you can just drag and drop this. So it might go here nicely. And let's see if there's anything else we can add. Maybe we want to see these stock levels. So we can add that as well. Maybe that can come right before the price. Pretty soon I will also go through some additional or advanced column options in this edit table screen. And these will allow you to control the width and responsive settings for each column. Now in the add to cart section, these options affect the buy column in the product table. But if you haven't included this column, then they'll all be ignored. So choose any of the available add to cart methods, which could be cart buttons, checkboxes, or both cart buttons and checkboxes. As the default option, cart buttons displays the standard add to cart button for each product. Or if the product cannot be purchased, like it's out of stock or part of a grouped product, then a read more or view products link is displayed. With the checkboxes option, then it'll show a little checkbox in the buy column instead of the normal add to cart button. And customers can select multiple products at once and then use a button to add selected to cart which will either live above or below the table. And then of course, if you're displaying both, then they'll see both options. I'm gonna leave both enabled so we can see them today. You may also want to show a quantity picker for each product. I'd recommend doing that, especially if you are in wholesale. And variations can be shown either as drop-down lists or showing one variation per row. And you can also adjust the name format I prefer the drop down list option and we'll click next. We can use search and sort to make it easier for customers to find products. For example, we can enable filter drop downs and choose what filters we'd like. I think we need a category drop down and tags, but there are others which are based on the attributes in your WooCommerce store, such as color and size. Then you have some options for how you'd like to sort them. You might like to have the date modified or date published. So more recent products show up and you can change that order. For example, new to old and then click next.
You can also enable lazy load to improve performance by loading the overall page before the product table and loading one page of products at a time. I would only recommend enabling lazy load if you have a lot of products in the table or are experiencing slow load times. That's because due to the way it works, it necessarily limits or changes some of the table behavior. And you can learn more about this in our article about lazy loading in our knowledge base. So for now, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. The final page of the table builder will explain how to add the table to your site. If you selected for it to replace the shop templates in the first step, then you don't need to do anything further. Alternatively, you can add the table anywhere on your site by either inserting the product table Gutenberg block and selecting the table that you just created, or by copying and pasting the shortcode, which is displayed on this page. In my case, I created a table that will appear on my main shop page. So let's quickly take a look at it and make sure it's doing everything that we want it to. Awesome, so this is already looking really good. I've got my categories and tags drop down filters. So if I click on something like this, it's going to just bring up those products. I also have the option to modify how many products are shown on this page and a search box, plus all of the columns that I added. It may be a little bit too many, but it just depends on how much info you want to show about each of your products. And note that there are quantity boxes, add to cart buttons, and selection boxes. To modify the settings of any table, go to products, product tables, and use this edit option for any existing table. To learn more about how to edit product tables and modify the main plugin settings, check out the full guide video we made here, or use this link to test out the plugin for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.